All right. So the the shortcut to the plant is sealed because I didn't go that way this time. So I still have to go the normal way. So I have to go upstairs. Uh, thinking about grabbing the bazooka right now, but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab the bazooka right now. As I got plenty of room still. The only thing though, this time Barry's not gonna be in there and to give it to me, so. Things will be a little trickier on this one. I can grab the bazooka and then just be on my way because there's nothing else to grab here. But I'm just gonna show you guys what happens if you look at forest. So I'm risking my neck here. It's Forrest! He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh god! Go, go, go! Okay. So, it's totally avoidable though, if you just want the bazooka. However, in a range mode, uh, it's a little tougher than that. So, you guys will see that in the next couple playthroughs, possibly. Alright, now that we got the bazooka, now I'm gonna head back this way. And of course, I'm gonna once again push over the statue to unlock the blue jewel and continue on. I'm gonna defeat these zombies though. Ah, fuck. That didn't do anything. powerful in this game, in this playthrough for some reason. Shit. I'm already out of ammo. Almost out of ammo. It's okay though. Because once again, these zombies down here I'm just gonna keep alive. Not waste my ammo on them. Okay. Store the bazooka. And the acid rounds. Uh, anything else I need? No. Alright. Moving on. Let's get that herbicide used. Ha, I remember it this time. Damn it! about to get a clip in here, so won't have to worry about that again. And yeah, anything unnecessary that I showed you in the last game, I most likely will not even bother with in this playthrough. So, for example, I'm not gonna read that file and trigger that zombie. Oh, actually, you know what? I should, because there's shotgun shells in there. I forgot. So actually, I will. I'm gonna reload, though, because three shots is not gonna do. And he's still not dead. Screw that. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. Alrighty. Right, 
let's go ahead and get that herbicide used. Oh, screw you. Alrighty, I'm gonna use a couple of those herbs right now. Or just keep it on me at least. Alright, let's grab the armor key. And get to using it immediately. Unlock that first door right around here. Get some more shotgun shells and a spare clip. The broken shotgun, however, I'm gonna leave behind because I already got the shotgun, so there's no point in grabbing the broken shotgun. Alrighty. Getting some shells. Let's get this clip. Sorely need it. Grab the blue jewel and then backtrack, get the crest. So, yeah, look how much faster we're going. I'm very focused on beating the aim as fast as possible right now. So, yeah, not gonna speak, not speaking very much. I hope that doesn't make it any less interesting for you. It's just there's nothing to say since I've done all of this before. And yeah, for those of you concerned about me doing this eight times, it's the way these playthroughs are going to be. I'm fully playing them. Fully playing these games. So, it's necessary to play this game eight times. It's going to be worse for the remake because there's, there's more than four endings, so we can be playing that one like ten times or something. Alrighty, got the crest. So now, um, I just gotta unlock the rest of the armor key doors, really. Um, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and get the shield key at this point. And this time I won't forget to get the emblem first. Do I have enough room? Barely. Just enough. need at least two slots if you're going to do this sequence. This is kind of a speed run, to be honest, because I'm doing everything as fast as almost as fast as I can, so, yeah. Like, at this rate, I'm guaranteed to unlock the infinite rocket launcher. I do it without even trying sometimes. Like, three and a half hours is more than enough time to beat this game once you know where everything is and you know how to beat it, like the back of your hand. Quickly swap. Just fit it right in. Ah. Things will definitely get interesting again once I, uh, once I trigger more cutscenes and whatnot. Alright, we got the shield key. 
I'm gonna need to free some space soon. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in trouble. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this next armor key room to get the clip and shells. Because ammo is always essential. No point in going in that other room, though, with the dressing room. Smart that time. Yes, stay dead. All right, I got I'm get building up the shells. So, by the time we leave the mansion towards the guardhouse, I'm actually gonna end using the handgun then and there. So, from the guardhouse onward, I will use no weapon weaker than the shotgun. So, I'll make my gameplay my gameplay that much faster, since I'm gonna drop the handgun as soon as we're done with the mansion. Because, yeah, once again, looking back at the last game, I had more than enough ammo for a lot of situations, and I played it way too safe. But it was the first playthrough, and I was playing it very casually, so it was okay. But not this time. Alright, just unlocking that door. We're not going in there, though. I have a feeling, though, being rushy like this, I'm going to forget zombies are, are places like this one. Nice. Whew. Go ahead and use this herb right here. I'm tired of I'm tired of seeing that yellow. All right, I'm gonna go in the storeroom and see if and store stuff that I don't need right now. I right, don't need the shotgun shells. I do not need the shield key right now. Don't need the crest right now. Everything else, uh, I'll go ahead and keep. Alrighty. Right, finally go up these stairs and just take care of everything that's up here. Like all the zombies, for example. What the hell? game seriously all right let's get this let's get this room over with that cutscene I wanted in the first playthrough is not gonna be triggered in this one at either so I'm just gonna get straight to it Explosive rounds. Alright. So I'm not gonna go in that other room with the lighter, because once again, I don't need the lighter at all, except to get some acid rounds. And that's moot at this point, because Barry gave me some acid rounds. And I don't need the second floor map either, so we're good. Solve this puzzle real quick since it's pretty much the easiest one in the game. <laughs> it's not even a puzzle, really. And you 
saw, if you watched the last playthrough, you know what happens if I activate gas without covering the crates. And I took an unnecessary risk in getting Magnum ammo. <laughs> so I named the video that.